All right. Welcome to day nine of Advent of Code in Haskell. Uh, we're doing an early stream today. And uh, why? Because there's a Christmas party. And, uh, you know, you gotta attend the Christmas parties. It's gonna be party. Ain't no party like a Christmas party. Because a Christmas party don't stop. I don't know. Uh, that's, how, that's how I usually say it. Uh, question for the viewers. Uh, I think I changed this up. Question for the viewers. Uh, does the audio work? Because we had it last time. Well, not last time. The other day. What happened was that... Uh, the audio worked on the recording, it worked on my monitors, but it did not pop up uh, on the stream itself, which is sad. Anyway, I don't expect a huge turnout today because it's early. People are at work. People are busy. Yeah, but I happen to have a free slot right now, and uh, so it's going to work out. All right. Now... Let's get started with day nine. Oh my god. The fuck. Oish. Some rope. Okay. This rope bridge creaks as you walk along. You aren't sure. Okay. How old it is. Seems about to else is fine. Step carefully. You do as the rope tries to twist. You decide to start talking about the rope and doing rope physics. Wow. Okay. Consider a rope with a knot at each end. These knots mark the head and the tail of a rope. If the head moves uh, far enough away from the tail, the tail is pulled through toward the head. To the eleven to plank length, you should be able to model the position of the knots on a two-dimensional grid, and then by following a hypothetical series of motions, your possible input for the head, you can determine how the tail will move. The rope curve. I'm sure, in fact, the head and tail will always be touching. Okay, diagonally adjacent, even when nothing else. Both counts. Okay, uh, let me just see what's the input. Okay, the input's looking like this. Okay. So I don't have to parse these things. Okay, now, uh, if the head is ever two steps directly up, left or right from that tail, the tail must also move one step in that direction so it remains close enough. Yes, okay. Otherwise, if the head and tail aren't touching and aren't in the same row of column, the always, tail always moves one step diagonally to keep up. Okay. H and T, H and T, yeah. Okay. You, so you just need to work out where the tail goes as the head follows as a series of motions. Assume the head and tail both start at the same position, overlapping. Uh, okay, now let's just paste in this example. Uh, R U L D R R N. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Uh, what the fuck? Anyway, example. Uh, paste it in. Now we're gonna write the data type. Uh, data. Now we're just gonna do the writing show. Insert. Uh, uh, data movement equals. Uh, yeah, sorry, I was working on a chess engine yesterday. Yeah. Prints out chess characters. That's cute, right? Anyway, uh, data movement is going to be a uh, right, up, left, down, R, D, L. Okay, so it's going to be up, int, or right, int, or left, int, or D, int. Deriving read from a show uh, and then read input file path to a list of movements 
read input is equal to uh, equal to read at moment ah map read dot lines f map over read file this is io okay now let's uh, just read the example see that we got it correct read input example into print dc oh, Day nine. Yeah, day nine. Day nine. He was my favorite streamer at some point. Like back when Twitch was known as Justin TV. Okay, but we crossed the example. See, we didn't even have to write a parser because it's just the same representation as the actual data type. Okay. Okay, so they both started the same position overlapping and then. This moves the right four steps, then up four steps, then left three steps, then down one step. After each step, you'll need to update the position of the tail if the step means the head is no longer adjacent to the tail. Okay. So let's see. Uh, right four steps. One. Ah, huh. S is a starting position, okay? Yeah, so we move it once, right? And then we move and once and move and once and once, okay? Up, ah, and then we start from there. Okay, and then we move it up one step. And it, uh, yeah, and that's fine, right? Because they're still diagonally connected. Uh, and then we move it... And then we move it up again, and then it follows. Okay, then we go left, then it goes like this. Okay, and then down one step, uh, and then right. Okay, and then down, and then left. Okay, and then right twice. Uh, so it goes on top, and then it goes. Okay, you count up, up all of the positions of the tail visited at least once. Simulate your tail complete hypotheticals here some motion. How many positions does the tail of the world visit at least once? Okay. Uh, now let's so the state is just gonna be we don't actually care about the uh, we don't have to have a diagram or anything, right? We just have to have the uh, uh, input. Okay, so uh, now let's say uh, so the initial state uh, so let's say uh, update um, okay so update uh, uh, let's see here uh, Let's call this actually. Ah, but then I can't do it right away, right? And okay, so let's say a uh, moves goes from uh, movement to int. Uh, moves. Now I'm gonna update. So I have the uh, update. So uh, do so so do move. Okay, takes in a a list of movements. Ah, takes in a list of uh, so it takes in a movement uh, and it return and it takes in the current state. So current tail uh, type. Date equals uh, so it's gonna be uh, the position of the 
head and then the position of the tail and state to movement comma state oh, we're gonna do it this way okay so do uh and now if it so do move move and the uh, case uh, moves mv equals zero so it's going to be st so if we're kind of done with that movement uh equals so this then it's just then we just do the state okay let's actually do this uh, like this okay so if we if we finished that movement then we do uh, like this Okay, now uh, let's. So head movement. Okay, so head move takes in movement, and it takes in a, a int comma int, and it returns an int comma int. Head move is equal to uh, so one. This is just one movement, right? So uh, you whatever. Uh, st so h comma uh, uh, so x comma y okay if it goes up then we go x comma y plus one All right we do uh, x plus one and move uh, left we do x comma y equals um, we do x minus one, y, and then a head move d x comma y equals a comma y minus one. Okay, so the trick here is that, like uh, you can see here, that the rope. Like it might move, uh, it might move on the sec, like on a second move, right? Okay, so let's actually do this like this. Um, let's 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 be a bit smarter about this. Okay, uh, do move. Let's say. Oh, but the state, and then it will ha also have the uh, visited set uh, in comma int import qualified data dot set as set import uh, data dot data set set. Okay, it's a do move. Okay, so let's say here, this is going to be very similar, but let's just write it out for you. N of a... The head, this is H, X, H, Y. Uh, H, X, H, Y. Uh, and then it's a T, X, T, X, T, Y. And then visit it. Now, if we're going up, okay, if we're going up and the x's are equal, then we just can go, we can just go up uh, two times, right? Uh, hx equals h uh, tx, then, uh, then uh, we just do a uh, then we basically just do so. Then the new state will be a uh, hx. So we don't change the x. Hy plus n uh, tx comma ty plus n and a uh, visited 
uh, set dot union uh, set dot from list uh, and then we just uh, we're just gonna say set dot union set dot from list map i uh, to x comma y plus i And we are just going to map this over the list of one, two, uh, one, two, n. Okay, so that's how we move up if they are the same. Okay, now. Let's do this for the other dimensions as well. Bing. Bring to move. Okay, so for down, uh, for down, it's gonna be if the it's the same, but then we do minus n, minus n, and then we do minus i. Uh, Oh, right, and this is then EX TY, right? Ding, 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 ding. TX TY. Okay, uh, for uh, left, the same, but then we check that the Y's are the same. And then we're going left. Minus I. Okay. Uh, or right is going to be the same. But then we go to the right. Okay. Okay. So we got the... Easy case, right? Now, we will say, okay, because, so, if we move diagonally to catch up, right, it, it always catches up, right, so we go R here, right, you know, so the first move is weird, right, because it skips this one, but then the next one always be, okay. So, we are going to say, okay, so if we're going up, uh, and they are not the same. Okay, uh, otherwise, if they're not the same, then we, the new state will be a... Uh, Let's just cover the zero case. Okay, so now we know that it's more than one uh, because yeah, it's always greater than one, and we know that they are not equal. Otherwise, I mean, so the head moves the same, right? Plus one. We're gonna do one movement. T X T Y. Then a. Uh, so this the new TX becomes the the old HX. Okay? Uh, uh so because we, we move in the right to the same diagonal, uh, and we move one up as well. Okay, and then a uh, set dot insert uh 
and we just add this new one, right? I checked ty plus one uh, into visit it. Okay, and then and this is gonna be the input to do move a u n minus one. Okay, that's how we're gonna do it. Boom, boom, boom. So I think I, I like this. Okay, uh, now let's format this the same. But we're doing it for uh, D here. Uh, so it's gonna be D and minus one, and then it's gonna become minus one. Okay, and now. Similarly, this one, the L one, becomes a. Now the H axes are not the same. So then this will become um, H Y, and this becomes T T X. So this is H X minus one. T X minus one and then this one becomes each y and then we insert hx minus one h i is it it and then we do the same here i think this is how we do it if we don't this is not the right way we have to do some printing right then we go the right way. The R A plus OK plus. Ah, but do we need the? Ah, uh, no. Ah, it moves to catch up. All right. Yes. Okay. So. So this will actually be a so for the otherwise case right it actually becomes a we don't have to do this we just have to do head right because this one will be head Each. you get that right because a a because like it, it just moves to the position of the old head. Ah, uh, but what about if we like have this case, right? Like it, and the head is going like back and forth, and the tail is not moving. That will not work. So we always assume that it's kind of following. Uh, okay, right. So that would be like the left one, right? And it could go one step to the right. Uh, okay, so yeah, so we have the left one, like, and it's directly beneath. Like, it could go one to the left. Uh, that would be like this one, right? Uh, it could go one to the left, and then ah, oh, but then the distance is not. Yeah, okay, so it messes up with the distance thing that we're doing. Okay, so the, the, the easy case is still easy, I think. Um, but so the, the hard case, so if they're diagonal. Yeah, so the problem is arising like when it doesn't actually follow, like it doesn't move.
Okay, the easy cases will still always work, right? If it's, it's either the same and then I go, it works, okay. But if they're diagonal, and, and they're kind of, it doesn't actually change the thing. It doesn't actually change, it doesn't actually move, right? So that would be the, the non easy case. So ah, but the yeah. So the okay. So the head would be here, and it would go like it would be above, and then go to the left one step. Okay, and then it doesn't follow, right? It so the head goes left one step. Okay. That, but the tail does not necessarily go one step. Um, okay. Uh, so let's say, let's reconfigure it this way. Okay, so now we're looking at this, like the, the, to the left, and then it's here, and then it goes up one step and it doesn't actually it doesn't actually pull the cable okay so uh, then let's say that uh, H prime is going to be HX HY plus one comma okay so this is the H prime so this will always be here h prime okay now the t prime t prime is okay and now uh, what how do i do the manhattan distance i think manhattan is this uh, just like the manhattan Uh, yeah. ABS plus ABS. Okay. And this. And let's just say this. And take some int and int. And ah. Int. Int, comma, int. Int, comma, int. To int. And this. And uh, equals. Uh, so it's going to be x1, y1 x2 comma y2 equals a uh, abs abs a uh, x1 minus x2 plus abs a uh, a uh, y1 minus y2 okay now t prime let's say t prime okay so h prime now uh d is gonna be a uh, dist uh, h prime comma h prime where and the current t this h and t okay now uh, uh, this is gonna be equal to case D, so if D larger than, so the, the distance is going to be one, but if it's larger than one, then it moves. So the new head is, yeah, okay. If D is larger than one, then, then we just do the move, okay? Uh, and then it's fine. Else, do move else we are actually not moving the rope at all like the tail is not moving uh, h prime t okay this is the case like if when, when it 
The rope doesn't move. Let's actually deduplicate these. Okay. I think it's like this, right? So if I the same axis, okay? Uh, any movement will produce movement. If they're not on the same, you might be... You, ha you either have the case where it moves and the distance becomes too much. And then the whole thing moves. Or it doesn't actually change. It just changes the H part. So it's not moving too far away, right? Now, uh... So I would really like to be able to generalize over the up and left and down here, but I can't. Uh, which is a bit sad. Okay, but uh, then now we have to copy this over here. Okay, okay now this is going to be minus one, and then this is going to be H and T. Okay, uh, this is gonna be D, and then A. And then this is gonna be, so if we move more than one, we actually, because this is, uh, it actually becomes a new H. Simplify this even further, yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh, let's try and simplify this a bit more, right? Um, how can I write this as a function? Let's see. Uh, we can say like uh, uh, do hard uh, hard hard. Okay, this is going to stick in the Let's just copy paste, right? I think, I mean, because maybe it doesn't work and then we have to rewrite it all anyway. Okay. This is for D. We have to have H and T e here, and then we have to change this one to minus one and then this one to L and the R here. Anyway, this is what I'm talking about, like premature optimization. We let's not clean it up before we know that it's actually doing what we want it to do. H T Okay. Run moves takes a list of movement and uh, returns a, a set of each comma int. Run moves equals a fold l fold l a. Fold L, yeah, and then uh, no, it's just yeah. Fold L, uh, flip to move. Okay, uh, and then the initial state is gonna be zero comma zero, and then the follow on is zero comma zero, and the visited is set dot uh, 
Pink Golden. Zero comma zero. A on a. Oh, what is it complaining about now? Ah, a and then I'm going to say we're going to take the. We don't care about this. We're going to take this one. Okay. Okay. Now let's see here. Uh, read input. Two moves. Ding, 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 ding. Ah, run moves. Let's go. Run moves. Set that says. Ah, we're getting 21, but it should be 13, yeah? So it visits 0, zero and then it visits a, a... Zero comma two. Let's just see what the first move does. Oh, I don't want to set that size there. Zero, zero, one, zero, two, zero, three, zero, four, zero. So zero, one, zero, two, zero, three, zero, four, zero. Okay, that was the first initial move. Okay, then the, and then we do go up. Okay, so we're here, and then we could have go up for zero zero uh zero zero one zero two zero three zero. Okay, four zero. Yeah. So zero zero one zero two zero three zero four zero. Ah. Uh, Wait, does it? Zero, zero, one, zero, two, zero, three, zero. Ah, but it shouldn't be to getting the four, zero in the first one, right? Do, 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 do. And this is the first one, isn't right? Um, right, yes. No? Ah. If they're on top of each other, they also don't move. Okay. So there's another case here. Okay. Case A. Uh, H equals T. This one becomes H X plus one H Y G A is it? Yeah, so we need, we're missing this case, right? Like if they're ding 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 ding. Uh, could this be covered if we... No, yeah. Let's just keep it simple, huh?
Ah, uh, right. This one has to be the first case. So H X plus Y, H X minus one, H Y minus one, H Y plus one. Okay. Now the tail moves correctly for the first one. Let's see. We're still getting 21 here. That is bizarre. Uh, run moves. Take one. Okay. So it's visiting zero, zero. One zero, two zero, and three zero. Oh, I think I got that. Too. I think I mixed up the coordinates. Maybe. That shouldn't matter though. Okay, um, and then it goes up. Just print, run moves. Okay, let's just you know, look at it manually. R4. So R4 does this. Okay, and then R4, comma, U1. The tail should not visit anything else here. Ah. But it does. Uh, and what is the case then? So then H is not equal to T. Okay, so then we, we bumped it up. And then the distance. Uh, so I'm thinking that the distance should not be greater than one year. Doing set insert page visit it. Is that correct though? Uh, Okay, so we're in this case, right? So we're doing we're doing R four, and then uh, let's actually let's actually just return the whole state. This one, so okay, okay. Uh, if D is greater than one, mm. now let's let's start with the debug tracing. Import debug dot trace. Uh, this is we're going up one. Okay, trace show. Uh, no. 
So they've gone right a couple of times. Uh, it's actually here. It's the... No. I think I'm screwing up the coordinates a bit, right? So. So, okay. Up does not affect if the, the X... is the same as the TX. Yes, okay, let's see here. So the distance is two. Why is the distance two? Uh, So H prime is a four comma one, yes. Uh, T is three comma zero. distance can be one no yeah but so that's distance one aha uh, uh -huh. because we're not actually doing the manhattan distance we're doing the euclidean distance uh sorry about that uh, Euclid distance a grid. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, let's say uh, do uh, Okay, now. And now it's the distance should be more than or equal to two. See what does it say for you? Four. Then it goes three zero, and then it jumps directly to four one, and then four two, then four three. Yeah. Okay. I think now we got it. Print a set dot size dot search. 
of Ramos. Uh, but now we get 16. Okay. Let's keep debugging. Um, R or U4. Okay, I think we figured out that this one was correct. Okay, so it goes. Uh, So how, where does T go here? So T goes, T, 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 T is here. Okay, then it goes, uh, it's still at three zero. Then it goes four one, four two, four three. Okay, that one works fine. Ah, this should be an R. L, uh, and this is a D, and this is a U. Sorry, I mixed up the I mixed it up. This is why you messed it up. Now we get 13. Okay. Now let's uh, let's do this for the input. Input. All right. Four milliseconds. Yeah, okay, but it's not too bad. Ah, uh, got it wrong. That's not right. The right answer. Your answer is too high. What are we doing wrong here? Let's check our code again. So we're going up. We go up. Okay, if, so if they're the same. We just do that, okay? It checks which one. So from this number, mapping. And we add it here. Let's do the set. Okay. Um, now, if we, otherwise, if we, if we do kind of one step at a time. Um, we could even, let's see, skip the, skip the, Optimization. Let's see, maybe it's optimization messing us up. I don't think so, but maybe. And it will take a lot longer, no? 63337. Okay, so the optimization was messing us up. Uh, why was that? Oh, 
Okay. Uh, Rage checks is minus one. Rage Y. Uh, Rage Y is equal to TY. Yeah. We just move them both. Okay, we messed something up here uh, in the frame station, but that's right. Let's just remove them and let's see, you know, maybe task two requires them. But let's let's not worry about it. it if it uh, if it does actually matter, then uh, we just do like one move at a time. That's fine. Let me just see what task two is. Uh, right, now we got day two, yeah. A rope snaps, only a rope snaps, look closer than you remember. A bridge is still there, but some of the ropes are broken away from towards and you fall through the air. Oh, shit. You only have a few seconds to choose how you are to your body to avoid being here. Fuck you, so it can make sense to support a lot of ropes. Rather than two knots, he was now simply consisting of ten knots. One knot is still the head of the rope and moves according to the series of motions. Each knot further down a rope follows a knot in front of it using the same rules as before. For one knot, are we just gonna have ten states? That could be okay. Um, and then, do we track the visited for all the knots, or just do like you need at the end? My God. Ah, oh, but it's only checking the tail of the rope. Then, uh, okay, do move. Yeah, we could do this kind of in a fancy way. But, uh, let's just see what the non fancy way does and. Uh, Okay, so, uh, move without state. Okay, this is gonna be uh, R and move a uh, uh, non tail. Okay, R N, and then we have the H at H X, comma H Y, and we have the T at T X or T T Y, comma, uh, and we don't have the actually want to because I only move the head right so let's say uh, let's say uh, uh, let's actually yeah let's make this a bit nicer okay so tail move takes in a uh, int comma in and it takes in an int comma int and it returns an int comma int now tail move uh, H T. So this is H prime actually T uh, equals um, let's just check it a uh, D a uh, case a uh, this H prime T larger than equal to two is equal to uh, Um, this is just uh, equal to this, right? Uh, we're just gonna return bool. Int, in command, uh, two. Tail move, 
H prime a okay. gate. So let's just say like here, so we're not going to have this case. We're just going to say H prime And then we're going to say here, we're going to say a, a, we're going to remove this part and we're going to kind of pop this in. If tail move H prime T. Let's see if this still works. Simplifying it a, a bit. Now let's see. This is minus one. So we're not repeating things as many times, which is nice. Okay, and then this one is plus one. Okay, we still get the same answer. Actually, a let's say, let's say a a head change a moment a increment a in int comma int. Now, head change of R and uh, ah, let's just look to it like that. Uh, so, moment uh, int and then moment comma int. So, we kind of simplify it all. We say U and uh, okay, let's actually have here a uh, MVST equals. As the uh, case, oh, we still need to have the case there. Okay. Anyway, uh, okay, let's let's have it here. St case moves mv equals zero equals uh, mv comma st. So if this moment is zero, we don't actually change it. Otherwise, u n a x comma y becomes a, a u n minus one a x comma y plus one and then up left becomes a left and a minus one move oh wait let's, let me do it in the same order Okay, D, D minus one, and then some R, oh, this one is supposed to be, ah, no, this is D, L, L, R, R, plus one. Okay, so do move, uh, so if we, we have a zero move, it actually doesn't do anything. So do move, M, V, H, T, A, is it it equals uh, now where uh, mv prime comma a, a, a h prime is equal to a head change a mv h now i will say this is equal to do move mv prime of if tail move h prime t then and then we have this in here all right we clean up the code now let's uh, not as much copy paste so it's uh, actually going to be a lot easier to modify right for the second one 
Oh, we still get the same result, which is good. Okay, now for ten nuts. Uh, for 10 nuts. Uh, okay, hey, no, no, this one actually just matters for the... Okay, now, 10 moves. Okay, so for the first one, first one will affect the second one, second one will affect the third. I'm thinking like let's just do it the simple way right and then let's just see if it just crashes horribly or uh, what happens like if it's super slow we need to fix it right um, okay so this just so uh, task one is a uh, set Takes a list of movement and gives us uh, int. Task one equals uh, set that size dot third dot run moves. So let's uh, just encapsulate it here. Task one. Now read input example. Uh, ah, but we got it. No, we got a different example. Or did we? Here's a larger example, yeah. Large uh, example. Large. Example, large. Example, large. Let's just make sure we let's sit down. So it's a example. Okay, uh, uh, now task. task two. Oh, how are you doing? I enjoyed today's problem. Uh, hey, Ben Ben. Yeah, I mean, it's more of a problem than uh, uh, like, you know, it's not just parsing, right? But I'm having a hard time, like, I'm just kind of doing it, right? I'm having a hard time coming up with like, oh, yeah, we just actually don't have to look at anything and it just works. We just There's no kind of shortcuts that I'm seeing, uh, which makes me a bit scared that the naive way that I'm going to do right now might be uh, extremely bad. But we'll see. So maybe, maybe what I can do is the following. So I can compute the... Alright, so I'll, I'll compute, so instead of doing like movements, I can like, I can compute the list of moves, right? So then I just take the head and I run it through the moves. Okay, then I get a list of the pos new positions of the head. And then I can take that list and kind of say, okay, if these are new positions of the head, what would the new position of the tail be? Right, yes, I will do it like that. And then we don't talk about the sets. Okay, let's check it out. Uh, so do move a uh, uh, move a uh, movement so we're gonna just take the a uh, never occurred in Haskell so I know idea what's the possible what isn't I assume it has structs and maybe even classes right uh, I mean it has type classes it has data structures but it's like functional so 
we don't really talk about structs as much. I mean, we have data, but these are like algebraic data types. All right. So uh, yeah, lots, lots that's possible. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. So let's actually change this two moves. Uh, uh, do moves, uh, do moves. Uh, so I'm gonna say movement. This takes in a movement, and this will take in the. It will just take in the current head. Okay. Um. Actually. Yes, and then we will, and then we will have a list of positions the tail is in. An int, comma int. Um. Do moves, and we will return the list of. The Okay, now do moves. And we. Uh, uh, so I don't care about the head. Uh, S. Uh, tail. P pos Equals. The case. At moves. And we equals zero. Is just equal to T pos. Now do moves. And we. Okay, so this is the head. And then the tail is going to be the start of the tail. So it's going to be the whole thing. Uh, it's going to be a bit confusing, but it's okay. Okay, ht uh, equals uh, do move and uh, do moves a uh, me prime uh, h prime. Where me prime comma h prime equals head change me h. Okay, and then uh, if tail move h prime t, then the new list is gonna be a uh, h t s. Otherwise, yes. Else. Now, I want to see. So, like, okay, this is do moves. And I will have a running list of positions that the tail is in. Let me see what happens here. E. Uncomment these. Let's see. I print a do moves. I want to just say R, R4, and we start with the head at zero and the tail at zero. So then I get three, zero, one, two, three. Yes. Okay, now how do I fold this? <laughs> Okay, um, I want to return at the end. I want to return that. Like it's the state of the head at the end. Int, comma, int, comma. And then this one becomes a. Okay. And this is the state at the end of the first movement. Now. I want to do moves, many moves. Okay, so. Okay, so fold moves. Let's see, so this is gonna be uh, do moves. 
fold out. Okay, and we take in like the the, the next move in the current state. And then what we're supposed to do. Oh! Go subscribe. Mumi Jumala. Oh, not bad. All right, and Okram said, follow this one earlier. Oh, we missed it out. Yes, Mumi. We are doing a Haskell. And we are even have a Haskell water bottle. Not bad, huh? Oh, I have to tell Dave about this stream. Yeah. Okay. Right. So, what will this do? So, uh, we will do the moves. Two moves. Let uh, so final head T T tail. Uh, it's a T S prime. So this is gonna be T S. The final head a uh, T S prime is equal to two moves a a a right. And this is gonna be the a. H pro H and T S and then the, this is gonna be H prime T S prime two moves A H T S and okay but uh, maybe I'll just fold like this I'll I'll just fold like this no and then a uh, the initial state uh, do moves initial state here will actually be zero comma zero. Ah, the initial state will be zero comma zero, and then the initial tail is at zero comma zero. And uh, we're doing this on a list of moves R four U four. And it doesn't like A here uh, because Foldel has the A. Ah. I do want to do Fold L. I know that. A. Okay, so let's just. Yeah, okay, so we have the current state and then we have A. Okay, so what does this do? So it does this and then four one yes okay. So now we have the list of the moves that the tail went through. Okay, and then we can kind of discard the moves, right? Because uh, we don't actually need that for the second one. In the sense that, uh, so I'll, I'll first move the head and see how the first knot follows the head. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. And then I just need to see how, so I don't actually check how the, I don't check how the tail move. I don't check. I don't check the move. I just check the the new coordinate for the tail. Okay. Then uh, this is two moves. So this is the first one. Okay. Two moves. Okay. Now let's see if I can just do this with uh, task one. Um, Uh, let's actually do like this. Oh, I'm not gonna fold the whole thing. Ah, someone else followed. Mean Machine Rex. Not bad. Okay, now this will return a, a list. And then I'm gonna do set dot size of. And we're gonna take the list we get out here. And we're just gonna say a second, and we're gonna say a set dot from list. Okay, so that's how we can do task one, right? So now instead of like just maintaining the set, which is a bit cheaper, we are actually now we have the full list of movements by the tail. 
Okay, so then what we're gonna do is that uh, so this this these movements, right? They are gonna be there's like there's a lot fewer of them than there are for the movements of the head, right? Because the head can be moving around, but the tail will not move around as much. Okay, so now we are going to write another function that says a uh, do change uh, that's just gonna take in the kind of the in comma in and it's gonna take in the list of these tails in comma in and um, I think we have to return the same in comma in a uh, in comma int uh, do change only okay so do change only uh, so these are only changes so we don't actually have to care about zero moves now uh, do change only so this is gonna be h prime right and then we have ts at t equals uh, Do, 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 do. So if tail move h prime t uh, okay I need to know where the head was before uh, I do it this way Because I need to know what it updated to, right? Tail move H prime T. I need to know how to update it. I think I should be able to do it, right? Okay. So the tail moved. Ah, uh, okay. Maybe if I have the uh, Okay, I need okay, I need the H for there also. Okay. In comma in H H prime if tail move H T then H T S else T S Oh let's see I can I can encapsulate this right by say do change only uh, H, H prime TS, right? Uh, and then I just remove here this one. Okay, it should still work. Yeah, okay, now this one is change only. Okay, so I have a list of the movements of the tail, right? So, a uh, So tail moves is gonna be a second of this tail moves takes a nice movement. Ah. 
Okay, and now let's actually let's look at the input. Rate input example. Example and print and dot data models. So these are the movements of the tail. Yeah, so these are the positions of the tail. So let's actually, yeah, there's a lot of mutation here. Reverse. Yeah, let's just reverse it here. Reverse it. Frame down, perfect, and reverse it. Nip, 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 nip. I wonder if I get a copyright strike if I just nail that song. Um. Okay. So these are the list of the movements of the tail in the example. So let's say we have now another. So now it's a do change. Okay. So uh, now let's do it uh, one iteration. Okay. So do changes. Okay. So then we take a. Uh, uh, to change only yes okay so I think we're almost there All right so now okay so do changes okay and do changes that's gonna take in like the current state of the, the not number two let's say now we're doing lot number two and then it's gonna take in the um, it's gonna take in the change and this is gonna give us a list of the ints for the a uh, this is the ints for the where that one goes okay so this one is a uh, so t and then this is h's okay now t and H's. Okay, so then we say a. Uh, uh, I mean, so T empty is equal to empty. Do changes. Uh, okay, so we have do changes, do changes. Uh, T head at ages okay now uh, equals a uh, if tail move ht ht so this is the new h prime then so this is where the, uh but this is where the now the tail Number two mood. List better than set from list better than nub. Uh, it's slightly faster because it uses the ord class. So that's why I use it. Uh, also, I just like the set dot size. And yeah, it's slightly faster. I think. So. Yeah. Okay. So I. So I, I feel like you know we have the information we need. Because now we know the exact movement of the tail, right? Um, okay, let's see here. Uh, maybe I need to do... Maybe I need to like unwrap it. One more level. Do changes. Uh, uh, this is H and then H prime. Yes, this is how we do it. H h prime so uh, if tail move h prime t then uh, uh, then it, it, then it moves so and then we say uh, then h uh, to changes and we just added to the list uh, h prime uh, then and then the new one is 
Ah. So do changes. Okay, so then we have the we have the tail and we do changes. So this is gonna be the new tail is gonna be H. H prime H's. Else do changes T H prime H's. So I think this works, but uh, we need to have a case like where it's if it's only one left do changes T H nothing equals is this just empty uh, might be right I think it's just I mean because what else can we do there right if 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 the tail moves I think it's just empty okay let's see here okay so this is the example a uh, no that's not uh, printed let's say a uh, t1 ah Okay, let's say X, X, M. Okay, that's really, you know. Okay, then let T1 equals a, uh, uh, what do we say? Yeah, tail moves a uh, E, X, M. Okay, now uh, let's see here. Um, now let's print a, uh, let it not two. So this is not one. Okay, not two. Is gonna be a uh, do changes and we start from zero comma zero and we run it on k1 print k1 print k2 so these are uh, so these would be the positions of the uh, second nodes so h covers so, so one h and then two is zero zero okay then two becomes a uh, zero zero. Then two becomes a uh, one zero, and then three zero. One zero, two zero, and three zero, and then it goes to uh, one zero, two zero, three zero. Ah, shit. It seems to go to three one. Uh, it goes to three. One. So this is uh, is this right? I feel like uh, I feel like uh, uh, H would go up one. And then it would be like the rope would still be here, and then this one would be like. Uh... Ah, and so it will pull. It pulls that one up. So why is it not like a? You know, three, two, one. You get what I mean? Like, why is it not like that? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do it a different way. Um, so we get the tail moves. Um, we get the tail moves, and let's just convert them back into moves. Ah, but it can never move diagonally. Like the tail move, yeah. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, I feel like, so I, so I feel like, I feel like this should not happen, right? I feel like moving 
H up here. It should result in. Yeah, let's copy paste this. Right, so it should go like this, right? So in the way that I'm thinking of it, right? It should go H, and then one would go here, and then two, three, four, S. Why does it pull the whole rope up? I don't, I don't, I think this is, you know, I, I, we could solve it this way, right? But I feel like it's bug, right? For instance, like here, why doesn't it do that, right? So here it pulls all of them up. Okay, so it goes up and pulls all of them up. Um, okay, and then here it just pulls it, okay. Right, so this is how this is where our understanding starts to differ, right? Which means that it's okay. Yeah. So H went one up, which took uh, one one up. I don't. Th I don't feel. I feel like it should not matter, right? Let's do this the other way. Why not? So yeah, because it's like simultaneous movement, right? But I feel like... Yeah, I feel like this should not happen. Right? I feel like this H should go up. And I will pull the 1. But... Ah, okay. That pulls the 1... To here. And then, yeah, okay, so that pulls the one to there, yeah, and then that, and then, okay, so the intermediate state, right, is uh, H, right, and then one, and then particle physics, right, so that, and this would certainly do it, uh, and you have Underscores here, so the spacing is correct. Or pipes. No, that was also parking space. Okay. And then this one pulls it twice. Uh, 
Yeah. Okay. So this is just the. Uh, that's how it is. Okay. Um. So we just need to fix our. So we have the tail moves are correct. We just need to fix our. To change only. Okay. So I have a. So I have the current head. Okay, we just need to put more logic into this. So I have the current head and I have the current, like the new tail. Uh, so it's not as simple as with the other one. Okay, I have the new tail and I, and, uh, uh, and then a... Uh, so, and if the tail should move, okay. Then, uh, we just need to compute the new one. Uh, else, we just keep going to change only. H, uh, yes, uh, to change only. Okay, so if that tail move didn't do anything, we just continue H, R. Okay, so, uh, H prime of, uh, do change only, uh, you know, this is H, yeah, do change only, H prime, a, a R. Ah, so, I feel like, like, we're not having, we don't have a lot of viewers right now, but we're getting a lot of followers with like subscribers and not subscribers followers so we're getting more um, like maybe people don't have time to watch but they're like oh this is interesting okay if tail move ht then so then it moved and then we kind of record the previous position but the h prime it um let h prime equal to under Defined in. Now let's uh, write this H prime. Okay. So how did it move? A. So we can't just say that. Okay. A. Let a H X. Uh. No, this is actually T, and then H's, and then H, and then R. If tail move, H, T. Uh, it doesn't matter the order. Then, as uh, so of the new, so it's the new head. This head prime, okay. H is a H prime, okay. If the tail moved, then we have H, X, H, Y. Into change only. Uh, uh, this is this is gonna be a H prime, and this is gonna be no, oh, this is gonna be T, and this is gonna be T prime, uh, and this is gonna be so the, this is the old H, right? H prime. Uh, and this is the TX, TY, this is the old T. And the T prime equals. So we know the distance in. So it will, it will be pulled in the distance of uh, HX. So I think it's just HX minus TX So in the distance, yeah, hx minus plus tx, comma, hy minus ty, uh, no, I mean, this will just be that, yeah, okay, this will just be that, right? So what is the difference between, because it's not like this, right? It's not just a... 
hy minus t ty plus ty. It's, so it's not it's not the change is not like that. And but I think it was like that in the first one. So that's why it worked. Ah, uh, shit, this is actually a lot. Uh, maybe I can do it here. Let's see. Yeah, then, then we can actually t also test it. Um, so this is kind of the... moves okay so this is actually the so this is what this would be the new head and the current state of the tail okay this is the new head and this is the current state of the tail now if tail move edge prime t then it do change only so if the if it should move the tail then otherwise it's just the ts Right, and, and now here we're gonna compute T prime uh, based on the let T prime equals in T prime comma T S. Okay, so now we compute the change. So the tail move means that a that it changed. Um, So if it's diagonal, that means like it went two and one. Okay, let me see. So if it doesn't move, it doesn't matter. But if it did move, then it's uh, more larger than or equal to two. Um, and we are going to set it to be and it only uh, it always moves a uh, one. It always so it, and then it will, it will move only one, right? A uh, okay. So T prime. Let's see here. H X H Y equals H prime. Okay. A uh, T X comma T Y equals T. Now, so T prime is going to be equal to, this is not the old head, it's actually going to be um, So one of them is going to be two and then uh, and Okay, yeah, so we're, we're going to say a, So we, we have the direction So it's Tx plus a x diff and then it's ty plus y diff uh, and x diff is going to be uh so it, it's going to be one um okay it's going to be uh oh uh, but we might be yeah so it's always going to be probably going to be moving one <laughs> okay so if a uh, uh, so, if ABS of uh, oh, but we might be going like left and right also. Uh, so the, we, we kind of want to normalize it. So it's a, it's a, it's going to be HX minus TX. Uh, 
and do I have sign sig signum uh, signum hx minus tx okay and why if so this is gonna be like one or plus one or minus one signum uh, okay hy minus ty TGI, let's see here, signum, uh, sig, oh, signum of minus two, minus one, signum of, of two is one, and signum of zero, zero. Exactly, okay. So we still get the right one for do change only. Uh, okay, so we, we, we figured this out correctly. So we figured out how it moves based on the new coordinates. Okay, now we're still getting here. A, ah, this is the tail moves. Now we had to change, do change only, yeah. Okay, so let's see here. A, do changes. Um, now let's see, can I do, um, fold L, flip, do, do changes, zero comma zero, a TMS. So the do changes takes in, uh, do, this is do change. No, do change only, right? Yeah. And this one doesn't work. Uh, okay. Then I think it's maybe just this, I guess. So, fold L takes a B and A and a B. Okay, yeah. So it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be flip here. Uh, fold L and it takes a. Right, and this one is actually, it's gonna, not the 0, 0, it's actually gonna be empty list. Right, and then I have to reverse it, of course. So it starts at 0, 0, 0, and then 1, 2, and then 2, 1, and then 3, 1, yeah. So it goes uh, 0, so 2 goes a. Uh, so it's, it's, so it's zero, zero, right? Zero, zero. And then it goes uh, to zero, one, uh, one, zero. Yeah. And then it goes to two, zero. Yeah. And then it goes to three. <sighs> so, uh, zero, zero. And... Right, uh, so the, the problem is really that... Mm, let me see. Ah, okay, it's going... 3, 1, right? Yeah, jumping directly. So 0, 0, and then 1, 0, and then 2, 0. 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, isn't this at 3, 0, right? So it moved, uh, it moved, uh, but it seemed to move in both at once. Okay, yeah, that makes sense because we did the sig number, right? Mm -mm -mm. 
So I think that's the problem, right? So it's at two zero, and then the tail's at three zero, and the three zero goes from three zero to four one. Okay. And this one should go then from two zero. You go to three one, huh? Am I confused about something here? Uh, so two is at zero zero. Yes, zero zero, and then one zero, and then two zero. And three is at three zero. The one is three zero. Yeah, and then three goes to oh u four. Yeah, so three st stays there, and then. Three goes to uh, uh, so it goes from uh, three zero to four one. Yeah. Okay, and then the and then uh, should it like pass through the intermediate steps? This is a long problem today, okay? Let me see. But we do calculate it correctly for the heads. But, so the, the problem is when the change is more than one. If you never jump directly. Uh... Ah, but you should go to three one. Ah, oh, sorry. Yeah. So it's at two zero. It's at two zero. And then it goes to three one. Yeah. Okay. So I think I'm doing it correctly now. And it stays at two three one. And then it jumps to four two. Yes. Okay. And then it goes blah blah blah. And then it goes to three three. Okay, I think I got it now. Okay, so now we just do this uh, 10 times. Sorry, I was confused myself. So I actually, we, it actually works, but I was just reading the diagram wrong. I, I felt like it to jump straight up, but it was jumping uh, particularly. Okay. So uh, I think we just can do like... Uh, so we, we, we will like uh, recursively... So this one takes a, a list of uh, a, so a not takes a list of int comma int and returns a list of int comma int not moves not moves equals a fold l flip to change only zero comma zero. Now, uh, uh, so let's say a to a to a to list of a's. Iterate. Okay, so we are going to do here a... Ah, and then we always reverse. Yeah, reverse. Okay. So let's say a... Uh, iterate not moves... Uh, and we start with TMS. Now let's say a uh, map m a uh, dollar print a uh, take two map m print 
and he doesn't want to do this because uh no map and print uh, what is wrong here uh because i'm not using this guy okay this should be the first list and the second list yes what if i take 10 here yes okay now uh exm2 uh, example large exm2 at uh, tail moves exm2 Okay. Um, I want to apply it ten times. Uh, ding, 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 ding. And take ten. And I don't need the lists, uh, so I can just say take ten, and then I do last. Ah, okay. Uh, and we're actually just gonna print. Oh, sorry. Print uh, last. And then we say, uh, 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 not moves, tail moves, exam2. And we say here, a uh, set dot from list, a uh, set dot size. So for the big one, it's 31. Is that 36 positions of uh, men. Ah, maybe we're doing it too, one too many times. Yes, we were doing it one too many times. Okay. Now let's do this for the read input. Input. Into. Print. Set text. Uh, last ignite iterate not moves let's call this task 2 task 2 equals uh, task 2 takes a list of movement and uh, turns it in Print task two. Should be like that, no? And it doesn't like this. Multiple declarations of task two. Two, four, five, five, five. All right. We did day nine. Damn. Yeah, okay, we did it in like an hour and a half. But I was confused for like half an hour by if it was, if I was doing the right thing or not. Because I was like, ah, oh. jumps from here and then I was just reading the chord and it's wrong. Anyway, so the trick was to, yeah, just kind of define this function, right? Where you... Like, you, know, you first move the head around, and instead of doing it just by the movements, you actually compute the... Uh, you actually compute how it moved. Right, so instead of... So the first one, you use the set, because it's a bit faster. But then we actually wanted the list of movements. And then, you know, the list of movements grew progressively smaller. Right, so first we had a whole lot of movement of the head, right? Probably, you know, if you count up all of these, or all of the ones, like, you sum up all these numbers in the input. 
it would have been a large number, right? But then we it just moves the tails a few times, right? Uh, so that was fine. And then we can just compute the moves of the tail, right? And then we can just do that iteratively again and again and again, right? Um, yeah, but it did take us a while to, well, not implement this function, right? It just took us a while to <laughs> make, you know, convince ourselves that it was correct. Anyway, I don't think we did a lot of fancy Haskell this time. Well, I mean, the iterate function is nice. It's very idiomatic Haskell, I guess. Like, point three, just map some functions over it. Um, and this iterate, it's actually lazy. So actually, it won't compute. It computes kind of on demand, right? And it will be kind of very cool, right? So to compute... Um, so when it's kind of computing the ninth iteration, right? It's it's calling iterate on the rest of them until they get an output, and then it uses that output, right? So I think it's uh, I think it's cool. Anyway, let's add this to the repo. Git status uh, git add dh d9 dot hs input example large example large git status i'm not gonna add the chess example here that's just something for me all right thank you for that uh git commit um a git commit a m a git commit a m a d9 you push. All right, this has been our morning session. We're gonna return tomorrow, uh, maybe same time, around 10, 12, no, around 10, 11, um, because I have visitors coming in the evening and uh, I wanna be done by then. Thank you for sticking around, but yeah, it did take longer than expected but this is how it gets right it gets harder and harder this is how why we it's also good to kind of start early and then you know we're in the mood right we don't skip the easy ones we do them and then we're ready to go all right thanks again for tuning in and uh, hope to see you again tomorrow 10 o'clock european time so 22 hours from now all right see you bye bye <laughs>